I'm going to introduce my dear, dear, dearest friend, Patty Darwinville, who, who really doesn't need much of an introduction, do you, honey? <laughs> um, she's going to read a little bit from the first chapter, because I thought that was a cool idea. Tura Satana was a uh, stripper back then, Miss Japan America, and she, Miss Japan Beautiful, thank you, Patty. She's in the book, too. Yeah, Tura Satana. She, uh, she became Russ Meyer's uh, leading lady in Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. And she's just still amazing. Anyway, but Elvis was smitten with her. So Patty's going to read some of that. And she actually got Elvis. Yeah, she got Elvis. Uh, unlike Pamela, who, who fell in love with somebody and missed her chance to be with Elvis. Yeah. So. Somebody. Somebody, yeah. Who, <laughs> who, who wasn't Elvis. OK. Um, so this is, anyway, this is Tora's story about Elvis. It was after a wild night of tassel twirling for agog sailors in Biloxi, Mississippi, that Tura made the acquaintance of a certain blossoming rock and roll singer. I was a big draw that night, she recalls with delight. Oftentimes it took the teenage girls hours to unwind after dishing out damp dreams to horny strangers. On this early morning, she was cooling down by walking along the sand outside the club. I was unwinding on the beach, and this good-looking guy came walking up to me, and I said, nice night, isn't it? Yes, it is, ma'am. Ma'am. I was only 16 years old, and I'd never been called ma'am before. I'd been fibbing about my age. Everybody thought I was 19. He said, so what are you doing out here so late at night? I told him I was trying to unwind, and he said, mm, you too? The young couple walked slowly along the beach and then sat on the sand, talking till the sun came up. He said he did a show up the road a piece, but I didn't know who he was. Once I took a look at those eyes of his, oh, Turo has always had a weakness for blue eyes. I looked at his eyes and I thought, oh God, this one's a keeper. Later she realized she'd never even asked his name. They didn't meet again until nine months later when the 21-year-old arrived backstage at Chicago's Follies Theater with the owner. Do you remember me, Elvis asked. Biloxi, Tura said, smiling. I didn't know your name then, but yes, I remember Biloxi. Turned out Elvis did see Tura's show in Biloxi, and he enjoyed her Follies routine as well. When he wondered how she moved the way she did, Tura told him her routine was based on martial arts. He asked if I could teach him, she recalls with a throaty chuckle. I told him martial arts is not only a disciplinary art form, it also teaches you control. And he said, well, you sure got control. He wanted to know how she did the slide and the splits at the same time, how she did the shimmy, how she shook all over. He was quite intrigued. The enamored singer then jokingly asked Miss Japan Beautiful if she could teach him how to twirl the tassels. No, honey, I can't teach you how to spin two tassels, but I can teach you how to spin one. <laughs> Elvis grinned. Well, that might be a novelty. <clears throat> Elvis may have been shaking up the planet, but even back in 56, he had the colonel's minders watching his every move. Obviously smitten, he wanted to be alone with Tura. He somehow managed to sidestep his two furtive sidekicks and take her to breakfast at an all-night diner. He had the aura. You knew he was going places. I was drawn to him mostly by his smile, Tura says wistfully and that southern drawl could make your knees melt. Back then he was so down to earth, so natural. He had the magnetism. He drew women right and left. He had a natural attraction. Elvis was able to slip away from his protectors two more nights in a row, but the third evening they parked outside Tura's family home, waiting while Elvis enjoyed his first Japanese meal cooked by Tura's daddy. The colonel and those two guys thought that this was the last of it, but any time he could get away and sneak out of his room, I would meet him at a hotel or at my friend's house. On the first couple of dates, Elvis gave Tura wet kisses on the cheek, which she thought was sweet, but when he got to her mouth, he gave her kind of a wet fish kiss. She felt it was her duty to teach the boy one of life's most important lessons. No, 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 you don't kiss a girl like that. None of the girls have complained before. Well, maybe they didn't know what they were doing either. Well, what do you mean? I don't know how to kiss. You know, that's what I'm telling you. You don't know how to kiss. And she literally showed him how to do it. 
Okay, deep breath. I have heard a few fantastical claims to fame before, but this one takes the entire bakery full of three-tiered cakes. You mean those love me tender lips needed assistance? She assured the bewildered, slightly chagrined Elvis that he didn't have to hold his lips so tight. I didn't do a French kiss at first. I wanted to show him the beginnings of it. Then when, when he felt my tongue going around his lips, he went, mmm. And oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of sweating. <laughs> and opened his mouth, and I showed him how to French kiss. Ooh, I like that, and he went on from there. Well, once I showed him the difference between how he was kissing and how I kissed, he said, oh, God, that feels so good. And when I said, yeah, it feels good all over, too, his eyes lit up. Elvis and the exotic dancer began meeting secretly whenever possible. Tourists sneaked into his shows and was very pleasantly surprised to see how he had taken her shakes and shimmies and made them his own. It's like <laughs> Forrest <Pretty> Gump. <laughs> 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 I know, but it's amazing, right? <laughs> it was a thrill to see him do the moves on stage and to know that I was the one to teach him to him. Also had to do it in the bedroom. Well, that was even better. Tour insisted they keep their affair quiet so the relationship wouldn't damage his upwardly spiraling career. And she also didn't expect him to be faithful. When we were dating, I said, I know you're going to have women throwing themselves at you and you're not going to be able to say no. He said, I will. I will if you stay with me. Yeah, well, Turin knew better. There were guys who would say no and guys who wouldn't, and Elvis didn't know how to say no. He was always afraid of hurting people's feelings. <laughs> That's why they took advantage of him, especially the colonel. They walked all over him because he was so giving. He was a down-home country boy who loved his mama. Chira leads me into conspiracy leans into me conspiratorially, about to divulge some classified info. He didn't have too much respect for his papa, not until he got older, because his papa was a player, and Elvis knew his papa was cheating on his mama. He didn't like that one bit. Chira had already lived an unusually untamed life for one so young. She was a spicy, seasoned doll with all the finesse that comes with life experience. Her offbeat relationship with the king gathered erotic steam as she continued to play the role of capricious muse to the unpolished southern boy. When we first started out, he was kind of like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, until I showed him what to do. Eventually, he became much more sophisticated. Well, does that mean Elvis became a good lover? Yes, it was worth the effort, Tura says, closing her eyes. He was definitely worth the effort. Remembering that long ago night, Tura smiles. I also showed him how highly sensitive my boobs are. <clears throat> really, it's hot in here, right? Elvis was becoming passionately adept, but there was one very important amorous pleasure he had yet to experience. Four or five, yeah, four or five nights later, I showed him how to give head. Chura grinned. He hadn't done it yet. <laughs> Apparently, other women had tried to entice Elvis in that direction, but that particular female scent had put him off. I had just made love to him in the shower, and I said, wait a minute. Before I took you in my mouth, I washed you very well, because I don't know who you've been with, and the same applies to me. I'll not make love to anybody until I know I'm clean. It seems Tour instructed Elvis in one of life's finest sensual arts. When a man wants to give you pleasure, that's what makes the difference. Honey, not so hard there, just nibble. And when you find that little man, nudge him. <laughs> <laughs> Several times. <laughs> But try to do it gently at first, and then a little harder. And then when you've got them nice and hard, well, then you start to suck. All of a sudden, it's very warm in the room. Does anybody have a fan? Can you turn the air conditioning on, please? I'm palpitating here. Hmm. Should I be crude and ask the obvious size question? Oh, why not? I may never get the opportunity again. Elvis was about average in that department. <laughs> and that was fine with me, Tura laughs wickedly. 
It all depended on how excited you got him. Very beautiful reading of that. I know. Now I'm going to introduce Patty.